Hey there, and welcome back to AJM Learn. Uh, today, I want to show you how to find all of the IDs that you need to help with CSS. So, you we have tons of resources online to help us figure out, you know, what the CSS needs to say, how we're editing things, but actually figuring out how to target it is sometimes difficult. Um, so, old school way, and then there's our favorite suggested way, and I'll show you both of them. Um, for clarification, uh, we're typically finding a block ID, so the ID of a single block, a section ID, so, you know, ID of a whole section, or collection ID, which is the ID of the entire page. So this is how you tell the CSS, I want to target just this block, or I only want this to work just in this section, or just on this page. Um, so this is how you find those. Some are easier than others. I'll show you the old school way. Then we'll dive into my favorite part, which is just using the Google extension and makes life a lot easier. Um, so the original way is you just right click. Um, I, I always right click on the actual block you're trying to find, for example, or at least in the section. Go to inspect. And within here, you are looking for something that looks like this. It'll say ID equals quote block and that's your block ID. Now it can be confusing because there's all these other ID equals in here, but you're specifically looking for this one. Now notice when you hover or click on that area, it will highlight the corresponding place on the page. So you'll know it's the right one. And you can actually just double click in here and copy this. So block ID done. Sometimes it works that amazingly and then sometimes it's tedious. So, which is why this can be kind of a process. Um, next is, let's say I want to target just this section. So since I'm already in this section, um, typically the, uh, the whole section will be above the actual individual blocks. So I start kind of scrolling up to see where this section starts. Um, so I think it might be there. And again, you can see things are getting highlighted. Yeah, so I believe it was this one. Yeah, data section ID. Wait, wrong one. Sorry. Okay, that's the right one. Had to double check. This is why this is such a tedious process. So this is your section ID for this entire top section. Again, sometimes you might have thought you found it and maybe it's a little wrong. So this could, again, can be pretty tedious, but that is your data uh, section ID. Um, and then your collection ID, which is your whole page. At this point, you're probably safe just to scroll most of the way up. To be honest, for this one, it is pretty hard to find. So I tend to do command F. So I'm just searching here, search for collection. And it is gonna go through a bunch of stuff, to be clear. Uh, let's see. Sometimes it's helpful to, there we go. And you want it to highlight the whole, go back, highlight the whole page. So that would be your collection ID, this right here. And again, you kind of saw how tedious that was, but for the collection ID, I've just found it way easier because I mean, it's, in the random spot. It's not like at the top of the HTML. So that's probably the easiest way to find your collection ID is just go ahead and use the search feature. So that's that. It took us, you know, almost four minutes. Or you can install the Google extension. We've put this in the post. We have no correlation, any sort of connection with this. We just love it so much. Um, it's simply a Google extension. Mine's already, uh, or Chrome extension, I, and mine's already installed. So um, but yours would, I think, say install here. And it's going to look something like this. So when I'm back to this page, all I need to do is click, I believe you should be able to see my toolbar. Their little icon is the hashtag. Click on that and it's going to show you collection ID, section ID, block IDs. And that took less than one second as, you know, opposed to four minutes. Um, so, and then the best part is you can just click on any of these and it copies them to your pasteboard. So at that point, you could go into, you know, your custom CSS and you could just simply do command V and bam, it's already copied into your pasteboard. So honestly, almost no work. 
Um, that's it. Super simple. I hope you enjoy it. It's free. It's awesome. Um, always remember too, we have a really cool, um, CSS cheat sheet. You can get here at AGM experience, helping you find, um, lots of other cool stuff. So check that out.